Tesla CEO Elon Musk responded to a tweet related to pricing of upcoming electric vehicles, specifically the Tesla Cybertruck. He wrote that the company's primary challenge is affordability, because creating an expensive truck is relatively easy. Our primary challenge is affordability. Creating an expensive truck is relatively easy. He hasn't specified a certain price level, and there is no pricing available for the Tesla Cybertruck, but we can safely assume that Tesla would like to be below vehicles like the GMC Hummer EV pickup, edition 1 starts at about $110,000. Before we get into the news, I would like to welcome you to my channel. On this channel we look at the latest news surrounding Elon Musk, Shiba Inu, SpaceX, Starlink to name a few. I would like to announce a giveaway I will be hosting. I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card, and all you have to do is subscribe and like the video, and make sure you watch till the end of the video. Now let's get into the news. Very interesting is the second part of the tweet, which says that introducing an affordable product is extremely hard for Tesla, despite its greater economies of scale and better technology. In Elon Musk's opinion, for other manufacturers, an affordable lav product is damn near impossible. If it is extremely hard to do so for Tesla, despite our much greater economies of scale and better technology, then it is damn near impossible for others. While many people might focus on what Tesla can or can't do, Musk's answer could also be a bit worrying. It basically means that it's extremely hard to achieve affordability with trucks, which is why we see many expensive electric pickup trucks, but few with more reasonable price tags. Thus recently, Stellantis' CEO Carlos Tavares complained about the electrification costs, pointing out that battery electric car production is 40-50% to 50 more costly than conventional counterparts. Stellantis seeks solutions on how not to transfer those costs to consumers. There has been a huge amount of excitement about Tesla's long-promised Cybertruck. But while the world continues to wait for its launch, a separate project is threatening to hog the limelight, following the unveiling of a $115,000 electric car that has enough space for eight passengers. The Norwegian company behind the Fresco XL has only revealed a 3D model of its vehicle so far, but promises it will be able to run for an extraordinary 620 miles per charge. Other cars with a range as high as that tend to have a saloon or sedan design, which offer better aerodynamics because they are smaller and lighter. The Fresco XL will be designed for harsher climates, likely including snow as the company is based in Scandinavia and will come with dual motors. Despite being in the early stages, the electric car is available to pre-order with a $1,466 deposit, with 3,000 models set to be made available initially. Not a lot else is currently known about the Fresco XL, but the designers behind it said it will have double stacked batteries and vehicle to load capabilities. This means the main battery will be able to power other things in the car. For example, it could be that the electric vehicle would have power sockets that electronics including a phone or laptop can be plugged into, in the same way you would your home. There's also the chance that owners will be able to turn their car battery into a backup power supply for their home, or potentially sell energy back to the grid. The all-electric Fresco XL will come with an extra-large battery pack, said Adrian Christopher Lockland, chief operating officer of Fresco. As it will be double-stacked, it will ensure aprox. 1,000 kilometers of driving range per charge. In addition to a battery pack that solves the ranging's ID problem, we are delighted to unveil that Fresco XL will come with aerodynamic rims, which will ensure high energy efficiency. He added, in the case you need some additional energy, hook up your Fresco XL to your house or cabin. Due to its rather large battery pack, it would essentially work as a backup unit, and as the Fresco XL is such an extra large vehicle, you can quite easily use it for camping and road trips. All you need to do is pull down the seats to create a flat surface, put in your bedding and use it as a camper. Espen Falvik, CEO and Chairman of Fresco, said, Due to the harsh climates our customers are located in, we have chosen to equip each axle with their own electric motor. Not only will this standard equipment ensure better traction on slippery roads, but the all-wheel drive, odd, will make the Fresco XL off-road capable as well. Excitement for Elon Musk's hotly anticipated Tesla Cybertruck is continuing to grow, even though the futuristic concept has been repeatedly delayed over the last few years. Last month it was revealed that Tesla had quietly removed the promise of 2022 production from its website, having originally pushed back the vehicle debut from 2021. When the Cybertruck was first announced, Musk claimed it would cost $39,900 and would tow up to 7,500 pounds. Those claims have also disappeared and were scrubbed from the website at some point last year. The Cybertruck originally debuted in November 2019, with its futuristic armored vehicle look and angular sides dividing the internet. Tesla is said to have received more than 1 million pre-orders for the vehicle. Tesla aims to start initial production of its much-anticipated Cybertruck by the end of the first quarter of 2023, pushing back its plan to begin production late this year, a person familiar with the matter told Reuters on Thursday. The person said the delay comes as Tesla is changing features and functions of the electric pickup to make a compelling product as competition heats up in the segment. 
Tesla is expected to make limited production of the Cybertruck in the first quarter of 2023 before increasing output, the source said. Tesla did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Tesla, the world's top electric car maker, makes electric sedans and sport utility vehicles, but has missed out on the pickup truck segment, which is profitable and hugely popular in America. Ford Motor and Rivian Automotive are ahead of Tesla in launching electric pickups. Ford said early this month it will nearly double annual production capacity for its Red Hot F-150 Lightning electric pickup to 150,000 vehicles, ahead of its arrival this spring at U.S. Steelers. Ford's market value breached $100 billion for the first time on Thursday, when Tesla shares fell 6.7% and Rivian slumped 7.1%. CEO Elon Musk, who unveiled the futuristic vehicle in 2019, had already delayed its production from late 2021 to late 2022. Musk has said he will provide an updated product roadmap on Tesla's January 26 earnings call. Oh man, this year has been such a supply chain nightmare and it's not over. He tweeted in late November, when asked about the Cybertruck. Tesla recently removed a reference to its production schedule from its Cybertruck order website. Last month, the website said, you will be able to complete your configuration as production nears in 2022. Now in 2022 has been omitted. Tesla plans to produce the Cybertruck at its factory in Texas, which is expected to start production of Model Y cars early this year. Tesla was spotted working on a new Cybertruck prototype at Fremont factory. While it's nice to see more footage of the highly anticipated new electric pickup truck, the footage makes us a bit uncomfortable with how close the drones get to the prototype and Tesla employees. We were expecting to get an update about the Cybertruck during Tesla's product roadmap update that CEO Elon Musk said he would release as part of the company's Q4 2021 earnings however, the CEO only announced that the Cybertruck has been delayed to hopefully 2023 due to supply chain constraints. Nonetheless, a new prototype of the electric pickup truck has been spotted around California and Texas over the last month. In December, Tesla was spotted testing a new prototype of the Cybertruck on its test track at Fremont factory. A few weeks later, Tesla brought a new prototype of the Cybertruck to Gigafactory Texas. Several pictures and even a video of the updated version of the electric pickup truck have leaked. Now it looks like the prototype is back in Fremont and Tesla is working on it as it was spotted in a new drone flyover. Tesla appears to be installing equipment, likely sensors on the prototype. Part of the trims around the bed and wool wells are also covered. The drone video with people around gives a good idea of the size of the latest version of the truck, which has been rumored to be smaller after the latest pictures came out. From this video, it looks to be of similar size as the original prototype unveiled in 2019. The large single windshield wiper that has been a controversial addition to the latest prototype is not visible in this video. That's it for today I hope you enjoyed. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe and like the video, as it will help out the channel a lot make sure you do not forget to turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon so you do not miss the latest news surrounding Elon Musk, SpaceX, Starlink to name a few.